This is Catholic Daily Reflections for Thursday of the 24th week in Ordinary Time. Today's reflection is entitled, Awe at the Forgiveness of Sins. He said to her, Your sins are forgiven. The others at table said to themselves, Who is this who even forgives sins? But he said to the woman, Your faith has saved you. Go in peace. These loving words from Jesus were spoken to a sinful woman who showed up unannounced at a dinner Jesus was having at the house of a Pharisee. The Pharisee looked down upon her in judgment, but she didn't care. In sorrow for her sins, she anointed Jesus' feet and humbled herself before him, bathing his feet with her tears and drying them with her hair. The conversation ends with Jesus looking at her and telling her, Your sins are forgiven. Note the reaction of those who were at the table. We are given insight into their interior thoughts. They said to themselves, Who is this who even forgives sins? Those who have been born and raised within the faith have always understood that God forgives. We were taught this from an early age, learned much about it in preparation for the sacrament of reconciliation, and have heard this message throughout our lives in one form or another. But imagine never hearing about or experiencing the forgiveness of God throughout your life, and then suddenly one day you do. Imagine what these people must have been experiencing as they encountered the forgiveness of sins for the first time in the person of Jesus as he forgave this sinful woman. They may have been a bit confused by this, but perhaps more than anything else, they would have experienced a holy awe and amazement at what God had done. They saw this sinful woman come in. They sensed the judgment and demeaning attitude of the Pharisees. They saw her express sorrow and humiliation. And then they saw Jesus forgive her. Are you amazed at the gift of the forgiveness of your sins and the sins of others? Or do you take forgiveness for granted? The wonder and awe that the people manifested at the forgiveness of the sins of this woman should help us to examine our own attitude toward God's mercy and forgiveness. We need to continually foster within ourselves the same amazement at God's mercy that these people had. We must work to never take forgiveness for granted or to see it as just one more normal part of life. Rather, we must see it as extraordinary, ever new, ever glorious, and forever awe-inspiring. Reflect today upon the awe-inspired words of these first followers of Jesus. Who is this who even forgives sins? As you do, let God fill you with the deepest gratitude for the forgiveness He has offered you. Renew your appreciation for this unmerited gift from God and allow that gratitude to become the source of your ongoing amazement at the mercy of God. Let us pray. My forgiving Lord, your mercy and compassion for the sinner is truly awe-inspiring. Thank you for loving me and all your followers with a love so deep. Please fill my heart with a holy awe at your incredible mercy. 
May I always be amazed at your forgiveness and always be filled with the deepest gratitude as I experience it in my life. Jesus, I trust in you.